You're listening to Bob Garner. Follow Bob on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash Bob Garner Speaks or online at bobgarneronline.com. And now, here's Bob. As a child, I was always looking for heroes. You know, the guy who would come in and save the day. I found them on television in the forms of Captain Kirk from Star Trek or Batman and the Lone Ranger. I also found them in books in the forms of pioneers and presidents and religious figures. But I I don't have any modern-day public heroes. Many feel the same. Forget any celebrity or politician and especially any sports personality. While you may admire some, they aren't really heroes. What's a hero? A hero is a person who commits a selfless act, who goes above their normal doings and performs an action without concern for personal safety or how it looks to others or how they might benefit financially. A hero performs a selfless act with only one thing in mind, which is to provide for the greater good of someone else or the world in general. This doesn't have to always be an immediate act, such as stepping in front of a bullet to protect a friend. Oftentimes, a hero is drawn to a duty for a reason that person can't understand. They have no idea why they're doing what they're doing. But they know that someone else will benefit from their actions. Other times, they may be aware of what needs to be done and then perform that duty to benefit others or the common good. You know, mythology and religion are filled with examples of such heroes. Athena telling Telemachus, I believe that's how you pronounce it, to find his father, which is an adventure of finding your source, your nature, the Indian boy who leaps to his death to appease the gods so that the gods would provide food to the rest of the village. Buddha attaining enlightenment and deciding to stay and teach others. Christ dying on the cross, which was to awaken our hearts to the need of turning away from our material materialism and base desires and be more compassionate to others in a selfless way. Yet, where are the public modern day heroes of today? True, as in our modern day mythology, which is found primarily via TV and movies, one can find a character that teaches a lesson and can be considered a hero. But where are the real ones? They're out there. You just don't hear much about them, or if you do, it won't be for long. I I believe our fast-paced world is partially to blame. You know, when a police officer risks their life by stepping in front of a bullet meant to kill someone else, that's a heroic event. The story gets reported via the media, and for a short time, that person is publicly honored for their heroic deed. And everyone will talk about it because it's so uncommon, and it inspires us. Yet that hero will more than likely be forgotten except by those closely associated with that person or the event itself. This hero is no longer a public hero. They become absorbed by our busy world. We then wait to find another hero and look at ourselves wondering why can't we be recognized for doing heroic things, which cuts at the core of heroism. See, heroes don't go out to be a hero. They may have a cause or duty that they set out to perform, but that cause or duty is greater than they are. And the thought that they would benefit from their action is nowhere in their mind. To find something akin to the feeling of being a hero, we perform actions that draw attention to ourselves in hopes that others will admire us. We maneuver for power. We seek out ways to make more money. We buy things like bigger homes or boats, all with the intention of attention. And after we've done some of these things, we may get noticed, and perhaps a few will admire us, but it's not the same kind of admiration given to a hero. Can you become a hero? How does one become a hero? The major ingredient is service to others, again, without concern for personal needs. Is the person who donates a million dollars to a building fund and has the building named after them a hero? No. The attachment of the name to the building is all about ego. Is the person who donates 10 hours a week to a homeless shelter or animal sanctuary a hero? Yes. Because even though they may get some personal satisfaction from that duty, there's no real concern for personal needs. It's not that heroes aren't emotionally tied to what they do. 
they are, is that they do the duty for the good of someone or something else higher than themselves. The doctors who fly to third world countries to provide medical relief for those who can't afford it, they're heroes. They never state that they were, but they are. There are heroes, just not many public heroes. Those we all can look up to for their selfless act. We don't have public heroes who are household names. It's unfortunate that we don't have them because, again, as our culture evolves with the outlook of what's the latest, perhaps we'll just settle for less public heroes. If so, where will they come from? Well, all you really need to do is look in the mirror and ask yourself, how can I be of service to others today? Who needs my help today? Life is about a lot of things, but it's about giving and dying. When you begin to let go of your trivial needs and desires and look upward to a higher duty, then a magical transformation takes place. You'll see the old you will die, and a new you is born. You step out of the me and enter the we, and that transformation makes you a hero. This is Bob Garner. Thanks for listening.